In this lecture, we are going to learn how to query all the tweets for a given user and with that, how to get the user details of the user who has made that tweet with the help of eager loading when we have one to many and many to one relationship. So here currently I am in the tweet service and if I go to tweet entity, you will see that here we have many to one relationship from tweet entity to user entity. And if I go to user entity, there we have one to many relationship from user entity to tweet entity. Now what we want is in the tweet service, we want to write a logic to fetch all the tweets for a given user. So here we have this get tweets method. First of all, I'll make it public async. Now adding this public keyword is not required because by default this method will be public, but still I'm adding it to make it clear that it is a public method and it is also going to be async because inside this we are going to make some asynchronous call to our database. Okay, and in here, let's use await keyword and on the tweet repository, we are going to call the find method to find some tweets and to this find method, let's pass an object and inside that we are going to use this where condition. To this, we need to pass an object and there what we want is we want to find all the tweets for a given user and we are going to get the user ID of that user for this get tweets method. So here we will say find all those tweets where the user dot ID equals to this user ID. And actually we don't need to write it like this. Instead, what we need to do is we have a user property on the tweet entity in that user property we have an ID property. So we need to write it like this. So find all the tweets for a given user where the user ID is equal to this user ID. And here we have this error and it says this type is not assignable to type number. Basically the problem is this user ID is of type number but this ID property in the user entity, if you notice, it is number with lowercase n. So I'm going to change this type from uppercase number to lowercase number. And with this, it has resolved the issue. Let's save the changes here. And let's now go to tweet controller. There we have this get tweets method. From there, we are calling this get tweets method of this tweet service. And in here, we are going to receive the user ID for which we want to get all the tweets. We are converting that user ID to integer type because by default, since it is a parameter, it will be read as a string value. So first we are converting it to integer type and then we are assigning it to this user ID parameter. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to postman. And here, what we are going to do is we are going to make a get request to the tweet endpoint. And here we want to find all the tweets which the user with user ID 11 has made. So if I go to PG admin there, if we go to user table, so here we have our user table there, we have one user with user ID 11. And if we go to the tweet table, so this is the profile table. Let's go to tweet table in the tweet table. We have one tweet which has been made by the user with user ID 11. So let's go to postman and from there, let's make a request. And in the response, you will not see anything. That's because from the tweet service, we are not returning anything. So from here, we want to return all the tweets, which has been fetched by this find method. And then the same tweets we want to return from this get tweets method of the tweet controller. Let's go back to postman again and let's make the request. And this time in the result, we should have an array. And in that array, we should have one tweet, which is made by the user with user ID 11. Now let's go to create tweet. And from here, let's make one more tweet. So let's go to the body and I'm going to call it as example tweet two. And the same user should be making this tweet. The user with user ID 11. Let me create this tweet. So example tweet two has been created. You can see we have also received it in the response. Let's go to PG admin. Let's rerun this query. And now we should have two tweets. Both of these tweets are made by user with user ID 11. 
let's go back to postman let's go to get tweets api call so we are making a get request to this url to this endpoint and here we want to get all the tweets made by user with user id 11. now if i send this request in the response we should have two tweets so as you can see we have two tweets now here with the tweet we are not getting the details of the user who has made that tweet so for that again what we are going to do is we are going to enable the eager loading and i'm going to enable the eager loading from this find method we can also do it from the tweet entity basically here i can go ahead and i can pass a configuration object like this and there i can set this eager to true so this is also we can do if i save the changes if we go back to postman and if i make the request now with the tweet we should also get the user details of the user who has made that tweet so it is working as expected but what i want is instead of doing it here so you can also do it here but instead of doing it here i am going to do it from the find method so after this where so we are passing an object in that object first we are specifying this where property using which we are filtering the tweets and then i'm also going to specify the relations to this we are going to pass an object and in that object we are going to set this user to true that means with the tweet data we also want to get the user data for the user who has made that tweet let's save the changes let's go back to postman and if i make the request we should have the same result so with the tweet data we are also receiving the user data who has made that tweet so this is how we can fetch all the tweets made by a given user now before wrapping up this lecture i also want to mention one more thing which i should have mentioned before and that is if you see in this tweet service we are also making use of user service and what we are doing with this user service we are finding a user by a given id using this user service now what we could have also done is instead of injecting this user service we could have injected the user repository itself in this tweet service but you should never do that always remember that whenever you want to use a functionality from one module to another module instead of injecting the repository you should always inject the service so here we could have injected user repository and using that we could have find the user by the id but instead of doing that what we did is in the user service we created a method and there we are using the user repository and finding the user by a given id and then we are injecting this user service in the tweet service and that should always be the approach you should always inject one service into another service you should never inject a repository into another service this user entity we have in user module this user entity we are importing it in this user module so the user repository which we will create we are creating it in the user service in the user module you can say so you should never import repository into another module instead you should always import and use a service in another module like we are doing in tweet service we are importing and injecting this user service in the tweet module if i go to tweet module you will see that here we have the import array where we are importing the user module and then we are using the user service of this user module by injecting the user service in the tweet service i hope you got the point this is all from this lecture this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture from the next lecture we are going to learn about many to many relationship if you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.